What's up guys? This is Andrew with the Teal Album Photography. Have you guys ever thought of buying a tablet and a pen for photo editing in your Photoshop or Lightroom applications? We're about to do a review on this Wacom Intuos. So let's get started. So I did a video maybe about a week or two ago about unboxing this Wacom Intuos. I accidentally called it Wacom, but it's actually called the Wacom. A lot of people will say Wacom. I don't know. Anyways, I want to talk about what you actually get whenever you get this tablet. I bought this tablet maybe on Amazon for about $70. Uh, it was on sale. I think normally it's uh, $80, $90. But this is not the Bluetooth version. This is the one that you have to actually hook up to your computer. It's got the wire and you hook it up using USB and basically it's not Bluetooth. This is also the small version. They sell a medium version and they sell a professional version. But I kind of just wanted to get the small version because I have um, not so much space on my desk and I didn't want to be all cluttered on my desk whenever I'm using it. So that's why I got this small version and I'm really enjoying it. Um, it comes with this pen. The pen is supposedly has 4,000 sensors and I actually looked up why does a pen need 4,000 sensors in it. Uh, but I know this particular tablet is um, really liked by a lot of artists that like to draw using software like Corel Paint or any of those other software. And actually when you buy this tablet, it comes with four applications that you can actually install on your computer and use. But yeah, so supposedly this pen uh, has the 4000 sensors because when you're using it to draw, uh, you can actually lightly draw on this tablet and the ill sense that you're lightly doing it and it'll kind of adjust the brush for you. And then if you push down hard, it'll adjust the brush to be a thicker brush. This pen has two customizable buttons that you can actually uh, customize in the software that you install whenever you're installing the drivers. You can basically just tell these buttons that you're going to have the eraser as one of the buttons or you're going to make it zoom in or zoom out or you can do whatever you want to these buttons. And then this tablet actually has four customizable buttons as well. So if you want this button to be the alt key or if you want it to create a new mask in Photoshop or if you want it to create a new layer in Photoshop, you can customize these four buttons to do whatever you really want for them to do. Let's get into the pros of this tablet. I already kind of said I really like this tablet, but I want to talk about how thin and how light this tablet is. If you want to put this in your backpack whenever you're traveling, you can and you basically won't even know it's there because it's so light. I also like how this pen requires no batteries whatsoever. You don't need to charge it. You don't need to replace the batteries in it. It kind of just works magically in this tablet. I don't know how it does it. Wacom, you did a fantastic job. I also love how natural this pen feels. I got a funny story. My wife, you know, she's the one that usually does all the photo editing in Lightroom. Um, but I was showing her how to use this pen. Um, and it took her maybe about 30 minutes for her to really figure out that this pen is acting like her mouse. And uh, because it's, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it, because basically when you plug this thing, this pen is going to be like your mouse. You know, you're used to moving your mouse this way, but this pen makes it so easy to where it acts like you're actually drawing or writing or or painting on an actual piece of paper using this tablet. So when my wife Amber actually was using it for the first time, she I guess been had she had been using it for a while 
And then she needed to write something on a piece of paper. So she got the piece of paper. And instead of get, grabbing an actual pen, she tried to write with this pen. And then she realized, ah, I'm trying to write with your pen. But that's how natural this pen feels. It made her forget that she wasn't using an actual pen. I also had a user on my last video ask me a question. He was asking me if it feels like something is shaking inside of this pen. Like if you shake it, does it feel like the motherboard inside is shaking? Uh, it does. I don't know what it is. I thought it was the extra little nibs inside um, shaking, but maybe it's the buttons. I'm not sure. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. As long as this thing works and it feels natural in my hand whenever I'm using it, it doesn't bother if something feels like shit, something shaking inside. That's to me, that's not a problem. I also love how easy it is to just use in Photoshop or in Lightroom. Um, the first time Amber wanted me to use it was because I was going to, um, she did a photo shoot of a family and one of the kids just wasn't having it. So she went through all her pictures and she saw that one of the kids actually smiled in one of the pictures and she was facing the perfect way as the other pictures that she wasn't smiling in. So she was like, can you pull this face off of this picture and put it onto this other picture where she's not smiling? And I said, sure. I actually would take maybe about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes doing it with an actual mouse. But with this particular pen, it took me like maybe five minutes and I was pretty amazed. It got me so excited that I wanted to keep doing it. I was like, you got any more pictures you want me to do? But yeah, it's like, it, it actually feels, I know this is kind of cliche to say, but it actually feels like I'm actually using an actual pen and a paper. I know I've said it before, I was been bragging on it all this video, but this pen is tremendous. Now I want to talk about how this video is not a paid sponsorship. Wacom did not pay me. I went and bought this particular tablet out of my own pocket because I saw another video on YouTube uh, saying that tablets are easier to use whenever you're photo editing in Photoshop or in Lightroom than an actual mouse. Uh, so I got curious and I was looking into it and I, I went out to Amazon. I went to see how much the cheapest tablets are. And basically I realized I did a lot of research and Wacom is probably the most well-known, uh, tablet and pen maker. So I went and bought this particular tablet. I have never tried any other tablets. I have never used another tablet. This is the only tablet that I've used and I can say I really like it. So the cons of this tablet, when I opened the box, there was really no instructions on what to do. Uh, usually when there's no instructions, it's a plug and play device. If you don't know what a plug and play device is, that's basically when you get a device you plug it into your laptop and you're able to use it without having to install any other drivers uh, or any other software. And so whenever you get a product like that with no instructions in the box, usually it's a plug and play device. This is not a plug and play device and there was no instructions on what to do and what to install uh, to get this tablet working properly. So being a computer guy, I actually went out to Google and I've installed a ton of software in my life that I kind of know what to do. So I went to Google and I found the Wacom's website and I went to the drivers and I searched for the product name and basically that's what I did. I installed the drivers that I needed to from the actual website. Another thing that I'm not too thrilled about is as you continue using this pen, and I, I guess this is with all the tablet and pens, um, but I'm basically 
talking about this one in particular. As you use it, you're using it, you're using it, you're using it, you're using it, and then all of a sudden you notice that this little nib, they call it a nib. I'm not calling it a nib. That's kind of a weird name. Eventually, this nib will wear down. And yes, they give you three extra nibs for you to rip place the one that's worn out with uh but why can't you just make a pen that it doesn't wear out as much anyways so right here is the nib remover you basically just remove it like that uh, just remove it like this and then you take out one of these and then you replace it right here. And there you go. You've replaced your nibs. I don't like the fact that I'm going to have to probably buy more nibs in the future. I also have a problem with the word nib. Why can't you think of a different word other than nib to call these little sticks? So my final thoughts on this tablet, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i said it so many times already in this video, but I love it. It's really easy to use. I love how natural this pen feels, and I love how natural it is to just use it, this actual tablet. It feels like I'm actually writing or painting or doing whatever on a piece of paper, except I'm doing it on the tablet and I'm looking up at the screen. All the pros of this tablet make me get over the fact that I'm going to have to eventually buy more nibs and the word nib. The only thing that I kind of regret is that I probably would have liked to have the Bluetooth version of this tablet. The Bluetooth version was only maybe $20 more. Um, maybe even $10 more, actually. If you go to Amazon, I think it's only $80 versus the $70 that I wasted. So, yeah, I... I was dumb on that part. But yeah, so I kind of regret not buying the Bluetooth version. If you want to get this tablet, I probably would recommend just spending the extra 10 to $20 on the Bluetooth version because um, no matter how much I like this one, I kind of just wish it was wireless. That way I wouldn't have to run this wire to the the USB ports on my laptop and then take up another USB port. I could have just used Bluetooth. Of course, your laptop or your computer has to have Bluetooth in it in order for it to be compatible with a Bluetooth tablet. But yeah, so that's basically it. That's my review. I love it. And if you're a photographer that is always editing your pictures, which you should be, I recommend buying this tablet instead of having to use a mouse all the time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that little thumbs up at the bottom of this video and make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well with a little bell, the little bell that goes ding. That way you can get a notification anytime we put out any new content. That's it. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and God bless. And I'll see you guys out. <laughs>